Well, a warm welcome to this talk. It's Wednesday, the 26th of April. Now, I'm going to be sharing some pretty information today about errors that have been made, um, partly by me and partly, as we'll see, by others. Now, let me just give you the gist of this, because it'd be good if you uh, stay around to watch this. Uh, so this was um, a video uh, I made about a freedom of information request, about uh, figures of uh, perinatal uh, peribirth health, and this one was looking at miscarriages, for example. Um, that freedom of information request, 21st of April. Um, my video was made on the 25th of April. It was actually made uh, just before I went to bed on the 24th, so it was just after midnight. That's why I put the 25th on it. And lo and behold, on the 25th of April, the, the, the figures have been, uh, been changed and uh, revised down very significantly which of course is remarkably good news for this for the people of Lanarkshire who don't have anything like as much miscarriages as we thought they had. Now let's um, look at um, another error that's been made here. This was an error made by me uh, yesterday, stillbirths and miscarriages in the UK 2022. Uh, this was from the, uh, an, a freedom of information request from the 16th of December. Now um, this says um, there were 2,597 stillbirths in 2021 in the UK, an increase of 226 from 2020. And I said that was an increase of 8.7% between 2020 and 21. It's not, it's 9.53%. So apologies for my mathematical error. So um, what we see, unfortunately, is in the UK as a whole, from, from this Office for National Statistics Freedom of Information request, that we have a 9.53 uh, increase in stillbirths and miscarriages between 2020 and 2021. That's, uh, that's unambiguous from the ONS. Now, I'm delighted to tell you that Lanarkshire, where the freedom of information requests come from, uh, seems to be uh, an exception. So let's look at this. Now, this is the original uh, Lancashire freedom of information request that we looked at, dated the 21st of April, which was um, this one. And of course, we have we have the whole letter here. We looked at it in some detail. Now, I have redacted the uh, the person that uh, sent uh, the information request, freedom of information request, purely out of politeness. I haven't got his or her permission to to share the name. That that was that. I I know who it is. Um, it's just that I didn't have permission. Now, early pregnancy loss twenty twenty two is the data from the freedom of information request in Lanarkshire. On the 21st of April, Freedom of Information request, official release document, it was 2065. It now turns out this is, figure was wrong and it's actually 982. So it turns out this is wrong. This has now been corrected. Uh, on, as we said, corrected on this latest uh, response here. And again, I've given you the, uh, the links for these. Um, the letter said, I regret to advise you I am unable to provide details of COVID vaccination status. So despite the reduction, we still haven't got any details of the COVID vaccination status for 2021 and 22, as this information is not centrally recorded. So we got the numbers, but they made it clear they couldn't correlate. Uh, they didn't have numbers on COVID vaccination. But great to see that number is, is down and down uh, quite uh, significantly. So... Um, that was on the, that was the 21st information uh my, my video was released just after midnight on the 25th of april and literally a few hours later they uh managed to revise that document and here's the corrected lanarkshire freedom of information request link reduced produced later on the 25th of april someone moved pretty quick by the looks of it and here, here's the uh, corrected version and we're delighted to see that the numbers are way down of early pregnancy losses. They had been alarmingly high, apparently. It appeared uh, that they had in actual fact pretty well doubled from 2018 up to 2065. But it now turns out that this is wrong. And this is now the correct number, 982. So in actual fact, we see that there's quite a big reduction uh, in uh, Lanarkshire area. Um, as we say, um, inconsistent with the rest of the United Kingdom, but very good news for the people of Lanarkshire. Now, what I flashed up there was, uh, this has happened before. Let's have a, let's just have a quick look of a, a video that I produced on, I think it was the 7th of January. 
Hello, welcome. welcome to this talk. It's Saturday, the 7th of January. Now, yesterday we gave some data from Swindon hospitals about the rate of inflammatory heart disease through uh, 2019 to 2022. Just have a quick look at that data before we uh, discuss it further, because what ha what's happened here is about 12 hours after I put the video up, and the video was well viewed, it uh, had about half a million views. Who knows, it might have even been seen by government officials, we, we, we don't know. But about 12 hours after the video went up, um, Sean, who sent in the original Freedom of Information request, was sent an update pointing out that this original data was in fact wrong and supplying us with the new data. So I'm going to be giving you the new data today. Here, here's the letter from Sean that we'll be looking at uh, in a minute, um, or to Sean rather, indicating the error. OK, that's quite enough from him. Um, but it's interesting that this has happened before. Um, let's look Let's look at that specific example uh, now. Um, this was from the Swindon myocarditis data. And we have that here. Swindon myocarditis data. Now, um, my now removed video of the 6th of January showed increases of inflammatory heart disease. Now, the reason I remo removed this video is I was getting so much um, um, feedback um, from various sources about this data that was incorrect. And because there was a new Freedom of Information request that updated the data, I thought that data was incorrect uh, and, and removed the video. But here's the data that was on the video, and it showed... Uh, myocarditis and pericarditis, basically many multiples of, of what it was. So, um, for example, 2021 cases have gone up from um, 3,486 in 2019 up to 18,000. So many multiples. And then it carried on increasing. But then after my video, as, as we've just seen on that clip, within about 12 hours of that video going up, uh, this happened. Uh, this was declared to be... Uh, incorrect and uh, a corrected version was issued on the 6th of january 2023 um as we say so so my video was on the 6th of january and uh the the the, uh, the correction also went out on the 6th of january about as far as i remember 12 hours uh, later now here is the uh, so that was the they were the numbers that were uh, removed and here's the numbers that were stated as uh, as, as corrected um, so we actually see that uh, myocarditis and pericarditis, inflammatory heart disease, 2019-83 cases. Um, so 2019-83 cases, yeah, fair enough. 83 there, uh, up to 94, 2020, 2021-86, and 2022-81. Uh, so basically we don't see any increase during the period of the pandemic. Now, um, this is, while I'm delighted for the people of Swindon, this is a little surprising because we know that COVID can cause inflammatory heart disease, but not, not in the Swindon area, it would appear, in the Swindon hospital catchment area. So I'm delighted for the people of Swindon, just as I'm delighted there was less, um, less uh, pregnant, early pregnancy losses in, uh, in Lanarkshire. Um, but we do see a dramatic change uh, in, in the data sets. Now, or very dramatic in that case, but it turns out that one was a, a clerical uh, error, basically. Um, so the the uh, Sean who put in this freedom of information request got this back from the data providers. Uh, further to our response to this request, which was provided on the 30th of November 2022, an error has been found in the figures that were originally provided in relation to ED department attendances for myocarditis and pericarditis. This was a formula error that occurred during the process of simplifying the data into a pivot table. Presumably that's a pivot table. So um, there we have it. Um, dramatically less, um, thankfully dramatically less, um, uh, early pregnancy losses. We had originally been told it was 2065. We now, it's been revised down to 982. My, my question is, um, given that both of these uh, errors occur, were, were corrected within hours of my, my videos, is, is that, it could, it could just be probability, of course, a temporal correlation. Um, but does it take some publicity to, for people to realise that there are errors? 
Weren't these uh, freedom of information requests in Lanarkshire and uh, Swindon checked by a relatively, not, not necessarily a senior official, but a competent officer because basic mistakes were made that were subsequently corrected? Strange, strange that the actual um, early pregnancy, the, 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 uh, the, the number of miscarriages uh, actually was lower than the average in um, lower than the national average, I believe, and certainly lower than the previous years in the Lanarkshire area. So that's good. And also strange that the myocarditis was less in Swindon uh, than you would expect during a pandemic, which can cause uh, inflammatory heart disease as a side effect. But we have to accept the data as given. So um, they are the corrections. So in this video, we've made three corrections. Uh, we've corrected up my uh, inaccurate estimate about the uh, about the um, stillbirths and miscarriages in the UK. It was 9.53% increase from 2020 to 2021, not 87 as I said. And the Lanarkshire information releases appeared to get it wrong. I just noticed after the, my video and the Swindon data releases early release was first release was wrong again they just seem to happen to notice after my video but it could be complete coincidence um but there you go two coincidences and one error on uh, my part when i reported the freedom of information request data on swindon and lanarkshire it was accurate at the time but of course if it's wrong we'll come back and, and correct it as we uh, endeavor to do so i'll leave that with you um looking like less myocarditis and pericarditis in Swindon and looking like less uh, miscarriages in Lanarkshire than we had feared. So uh, good news in that respect. Surprising that it's less than the national average, but good for those areas. And uh, let's hope for future freedom of information requests. They don't need videos to get it right first time, that they're checked by a relatively more senior and competent officer. Thank you for watching.